and you, you <laughs> accuse yourself of having a pop science understanding of it, but it's a deep and important question. The ether, which pervaded everybody's attempt to understand the universe in the 19th century, which would ultimately be unnecessary when we learn that light has no problems traveling through the vacuum of space. And ether was this invented, mysterious medium of the vacuum through which the light would move because our understanding of waves was that they had to vibrate something in the medium through which they move just as sound vibrates the molecules of either the air or the wood or steel. This was the premise of that hypothesis. It sh was shown to be completely unnecessary. Over that entire time, as much as in love as many people were with the concept of the ether, there was never a shred of evidence to say that it existed at all. It was a hypothesis the entire time. Dark energy is measured. So just because we don't know what it is, and just because it's one of the biggest mysteries there ever was, it doesn't mean it's not there. We measure its presence. So, I, don't, I said this before, we, we call it dark energy, but we don't know what it is. So, I can call it Fred. There's no, I don't know. It's, I, but it's not something we had to invent in order to explain another phenomenon. It is a measured, it is a measurable, it, it, it is quantifiable. A measured quantifiable entity in the cosmos. So, there might be a later understanding of the universe that said, here's what that is, that you've been measuring all these years. That, and it's not energy at all, or it's not, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But there's not going to be some later theory that will say that our measurements are wrong. In the era of science as we now practice it, dating back 400 years, Galileo, Kepler, and others, when you make a measurement and it's confirmed by others, it doesn't go away. It doesn't all of a sudden not be true that that measurement was made. So science builds on the accurate measurements that have been made before it. Unlike some uh, altered understandings of how science unfolds, where people think, oh, we have, here's this belief paradigm we all have. Oh, no, now we all got to go over here and believe this. Oh, no, time to believe this. No, no, that's not how it works. More examples. <laughs> I just feel so sorry for Francis Ether. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we should do probably two more questions. Two more questions. So that's an excellent question. So it'll be there under whatever guise. But you can't rational, uh, you can't reason away a measurement. You can't put dark energy in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> dark energy is real. Strangely enough, my name is Fred. It would have been pretty cool if I called it. Oh, your name is Fred. Good. <laughs>